flawless. No, not like that Shia LaCroix movie. Like the foundation. What? This is the Lawless Woke Up Like This foundation. So, she Beyonce. It says clean AF, which the AF stands for always free, which it was not. This foundation I have had my eye on for a while. I placed an order on the Sephora website not that long ago. I ordered this and one other item. The reason I really wanted to try this foundation was one, the packaging. Adorable. Also, this is a clean beauty brand. Lawless is clean AF. It's a non comedogenic formula, won't clog pores, wears comfortably throughout the day, and it has a lightweight feel that won't fade or disappear. I love that, especially in the summertime heat, yo. Lawless is a female owned brand. The CEO's name is Annie, and she just believes in free, healthy, clean makeup, which I'm very in support of because I think it's a good direction to move in, and I think that we should all be moving in that one direction. Not the boy band, like the path. There's an L on here, Hell for Love. It does say Shake Well, which I will because she is looking a little bit like marbly. She's super trendy. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this foundation. I'm just curious, like this foundation, I don't know how to explain it, but it literally, it was like calling to me for like a minute. Plus I get a lot of messages telling me to not just review drugstore makeup, like you guys really wanna balance. And I love how I was about to apply my foundation without applying a primer first. Like who am I? Um, excuse you stripper, what are you doing? I'm gonna grab my Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer just to prep this face and get us going. I wanna see say something but I don't want it to sound offensive. For some reason to me this scent reminds me of Fabuloso. I don't mean that in an offensive term at all because yo I kick back with Fabuloso. I love the smell of a clean house after it's been cleaned with Fabuloso. Especially the purple one. The green one is all right you know and the blue one Calm down, dude. But the purple one, oh, this is my peanut butter, but that is my jam. Speaking of peanut butter, I'm gonna go ahead and prime also using my Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Spray. Where is my mind at today? Not here. Did I already tell you guys the shade of this, Nomad? Well, it's Nomad, okay. Be happy, Nomad. And the Oscar for world's dumbest jokes goes to. We're gonna do half my face with the brush and then half of my face with the sponge and just see how it goes. And I know a lot of you guys do prefer using um, sponges to brushes, but I also know that there's a visa verse and a lot of people just like using brushes instead of sponges. So for those Destiny's Child, I wanna cater to you, boy. Let's see, oh sh coverage. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm a Capricorn. This foundation smells like my grandma's house in LA, okay. Nostalgia is so real. I also don't know if I love this brush. I don't like this brush and that's my bad guys. I don't have another brush. All my brushes are so dirty. My pores are screaming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the sponge I have to kind of buff out and absorb the excess because she put a lot, okay? And this is full coverage, but it doesn't feel full coverage. And it also doesn't look full coverage. Like my face doesn't eat makeup, yo. It has its moments where, where my skin is like, yum. Yes, food, nom 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 nom. But there's also those moments where like my skin is like, stop it. We're trying to lose some weight, B, hold up. And then it just doesn't really F with makeup, especially full coverage. Like what I mean by that is that the makeup just sits on my skin and it doesn't look like it absorbs. It literally looks like I have a layer of something on my skin. But this foundation, my skin is like, I'll take seconds, thirds, and fourths, please. And that match, good for me, good for me. I actually like got the perfect match. Okay, so the, the coverage is speaking loudly <laughs> and saying it with its chest. This is coverage. Oh my. But it doesn't feel like coverage. And like I said, it actually looks still like skin. Like Houston, Texas, baby, she's still Beyonce. She really did. And again, the match. Toot toot. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer and my powder. I will say I think this is a little bit more, here's natural, here's matte, and here's shiny. She's like right here. Cause she's, cause she's definitely not tipping matte. She is on the more shiny side. So I'm gonna move quickly and set all this and I'm just gonna use products I have been loving. My Joa concealer, my Beauty Bakery powder, all that stuff, and then we'll come back and then we'll talk about it. What do you guys think? Full coverage, the house, am I right? I haven't said that in a while. We, honestly, that felt kind of weird. We can do that over again. Uh, full coverage, the what? That felt better. 
I'll keep that one. This foundation is good, okay? I've been wearing it for about 30 minutes now. Let me pull my hair back so you guys can see it. Hold up, let me fix my baby hairs just real quick. These baby hairs go so hard, honestly. More like teenage hairs. I like this foundation. I haven't seen how it's wearing, but with the powders, with everything on it, the way it's looking, even though it's full coverage, like it's all get out, it's not bad, okay? She's cute. I sound hesitant because it's full coverage and I'm just so not used to full coverage foundations like working with me. Like, I think I'm gonna get punked. I think this is a joke. Like where's Ashton or Chance? It looks so good. I almost like have no words. I'm like, that's weird for me because like my mouth is full of them. <laughs> is there something on my teeth? I'm embarrassed. I recommend this foundation. It is a $23 foundation, which is not bad, but if you guys are only used to drugstore items, like yeah, it's pretty pricey. Like from $9.99 to $24, like yes, I get it. It can be a bit much, but she's looking real cute. I like it. I think it's worth it. And then again, guys, $23 at Sephora for a foundation. That's dumb cheap it's a fora because they're like $30 and up trust me I hope that this video was informative for those of you guys who are just inquiring about a, a higher-end foundation and the fact that it's clean beauty and the fact that it's non comedogenic and it's full coverage and it doesn't clog your pores which is what non comedogenic means if you didn't know the more you know I like it I gotta get going I love you guys so much I hope you guys enjoyed this video this little chit chat moment we had and I'll see you guys in my next one